hello guys how are you doing you're welcome to my youtube channel so um i just came across a particular school so i said i should let you know in case you're interested to come to canada through study route so the name of the school is holland college and it's located at prince edward island is one of the provinces at the atlantic region and holland college is a public college so it's a dli school and it gives postgraduate work permit so there is nothing to fear about in that school and again one interesting thing about that school is that it has a whole lot of interesting programs okay ranging from eight months to two years i didn't see any program more than two years there just that i could not see any um, degree programs there i saw some postgraduate certificates programs and then other ones are med certificate and diploma programs but the most important thing that most of the courses there are what canada is looking for some of them are technical courses them um, technical programs that are very lucrative so we're going to look into the website right now we're going to look at the, some of the courses and i also tell you the ones you need to do and the ones you need to run away from because you know some days ago macmillan listed so many programs that they want or they think they're in demand and then you know what it means so if you're doing any program that does not fall into that category or is kind of related to it that means you are doing yourself more harm than good so let's just go right straight into the website and see what we have there okay guys so um i just um screenshot this very aspect so that you can see it it says the registrar's office will make admission decisions on applications for most programs starting october 15th and the first round of acceptance will be issued so um we are on their website now um so these are a list of some of the programs they are doing um a whole lot of them under applied sciences you can see things like bioscience joint degree bioscience technology bioscience technology postgraduate certificate environmental applied technology but guys please i don't advise anybody to do some of these things you can see other arts and media school of performing art school of visual arts if i hear that you come to canada to study this i'll be so angry journalism photography leave those type of courses police science professional engineer leave it accounting administrative as, um, assistant leave it but things like business analytics is okay legal administration leave it marketing human resource management leave it leave it some of these programs are no longer eligible for pgwp so leave all those courses all these fundamental arts pathways to call it millennium leave them or leave those courses but you see under community studies child and youth care work early childhood these ones are beautiful courses and all these courses in computer studies are, are still okay and um, you see under culinary culinary arts hotel management restaurant pastry tourism please leave those kind of courses please don't come to canada to study it if not you after you just waste your money and go back home but you see under engineering technology architectural technology electronical engineering all these ones are good under health studies there are so many beautiful and many courses advanced care paramedics then dental assisting medical support service occupational therapy physiotherapy licensed practical nurse and is offered in their two campuses you see primary care paramedics resident care worker resident care worker is what they call um, home support work at new brunswick over here in newfoundland they call it personal care attendant these are very nice courses eight months you yeah, are done with it okay under industrial technology you see something like aircraft turbine automotive technology carpentry in fact they are talking about carpentry every now and then guys you can come and study carpentry here it's eight months eight months and you are true is a diploma is a i think it's a certificate program okay so all this electromechanical technology construction guys if you are interested in this come and study them it's things like plumbing and pipe fitting very beautiful power engineering very beautiful welding and fabrications these are courses they are really begging people in fact these ones now even give you money more than health courses all these home support work so i encourage you but please don't come here to do language training english for waiting for academic purposes don't come here to do this kind of courses so guys these are the programs that you can get from holland college so at your own leisure just open the website look at it very well and if you have any question, just ask me. 
so you can see all the programs that holland college is offering so take your time look into that program check the website again go through the programs see if there are some that you think that are very very interesting and you think you can afford and one good thing about it they are just one year to two years so basically majority of them are one year program okay so you can do it and the school fees is not really that much it's like thirteen thousand and thirteen thousand canadian dollars and all of that so if you are still interested you want to do a sharp pro program do your pg wp and start um, settling down i think holland is a very good place for you and again they have a good um, um what do i call it now they have a program for bringing in students into their province so that they will become permanent residents so i think it's a good opportunity for you to come settle here that is if coming to canada is on your mind and you're still doubting what route you should come through whether you should come with study route or whether you should come through or whether you should come through express entry so while you're thinking about it you can also consider it but one thing i want to talk about right now is that from what you saw on the website i think from 15th of october they're going to assemble all the applications so far and they're going to treat it and issue the first round of admission and you know what it means for a particular program that they think they have gotten to their limit they may no longer advertise for that for that very program so that is why you really need to do as much as you can to make sure if you think you don't have all the documents start by at least applying at least they have not closed the application portal but at least apply so that, that way you've already entered and then you try and gather so many things um each program has their different requirements but in all the number one credential you're supposed to bring is your um, secondary school your high school certificate because these things are certificate and then um, diploma program so you don't need your degree you don't need but if you have a degree it's an asset if you have a degree it will also make you to be more competitive okay so i'm not saying it's only grad um, on the um secondary school device that can do it so you can come as a mom as a dad as an adult there you really want to come to canada you can use some of this program they can help you come here and then you check if you do your while you're doing it you'll be looking around if the country is okay if you think you're yeah, okay you can settle but if you think it's not okay you can just go back okay that's what i think okay so just look into the website even if you're not interested you can also suggest it to somebody that is also thinking of how to come to canada one good thing about this very province is because it's not too expensive okay it's not too expensive so for a normal person for an average person you can survive there secondly again they have other um routes of settling in there you can you can become a permanent resident through provincial nominee if you study some of these um in demand some of these in demand programs that they have listed and you're in that place you just set up before you know you become a, res a permanent resident okay so that's what i think i should let us know right now please remember if you want to apply apply before 15th of october i think we have just one week right now so do it gather assemble all the documents that you have i thought about documents that you need to assemble and get them ready if you are thinking of coming to canada not just only on study route even if you want to come through any other route some of these documents are very very important so for if you're thinking of colleges your high school certificate should be deaf you have to have your certificate and all that thing. but look into the website and then find out the particular programs that are of interest to you and then look at what their requirements are secondly if you think there are things you're not too kind of sure of you you don't really you don't understand or you need more clarification i'm going to leave my email on the description space so you can just send me a mail and i'll respond as soon as possible so until i meet you some other time bye